we are very happy and we thank God and the people of Mizoram to give this verdict. We have made assessment. Uh, our assessment depends on two factors. One is the number of voters whom we feel that they are going to vote for us. And secondly, there is uh, a money power which is very rampant in the state election and the ruling party especially, they depend very much on the money power and the chief minister himself said so uh, more than two times. So we, we are worried that uh, this money power may go against our assessment and uh, we also count that factor in our assessment. So in some circumstances, we feel that we are winning. But in case some of our members, some of the neutrals are given uh, money uh, by some another party, and if they vote for them, then we may lose. And that had actually happened in some circumstances. You see, as soon as this uh, swearing-in ceremony is over, uh, I'll have a press meet. At that time, we'll announce our top priorities for the coming 100 days. You can wait for that. Yeah, there has been a resolution passed by the United Nations Organization, which is known as UNDRIP, UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. This resolution had given us a lot of freedom so that these indigenous peoples uh, who are scattered here and there may have uh, a higher freedom in politics, in culture, and in development. And we are pursuing this resolution and uh, we are committed as our political goal. But as far as this Manipur is concerned, it depends on their decision, whether they want to have a separate administrative set up or whether they are, uh, they are willing to join us. That is their own choice. This is a humanitarian issue. It's not a political issue. In any country, refugees are taken care of. Therefore, we will also continue to take care of them. This morning, I had a uh, talk with the Union Home Minister, and uh, we are planning to meet uh, very soon. I'll go to Delhi and I'll, do, I'll discuss this matter with him. Uh, as I have said, we have programs and policies, and uh, our flagship program is what we call hand-holding system. Under this scheme, we are going to uplift the farmers and the youth, and uh, in spite of uh, the financial crisis that we are having, which we are going to inherit from the outgoing ministry, in spite of that, we are going to honor our commitments to the farmers without waiting for the next financial year. Within this financial year, with the spillover of whatever remains, we are going to buy their produces from, you know, this, uh, we have selected four items for that, and we'll start that. As the NDP will be stopped, distribution of free money is against our principle. Any kind of this uh, will not be uh, in our programs and policies. We are going to put an end to this. And regarding healthcare system, we have already uh, drafted a new healthcare scheme which will be much more uh, better than the existing one.